Bolt Castle is located in upstate New York. George Bolt was a self-made millionaire. The castle was to be a gift to his wife, Louise. He made his fortune during the Gilded Age of America. Our story starts there. The year was 1890. It was marked by rapid industrial and economic growth. It was also marked by great social disparity. With no income tax and little regulation, the amount of wealth one could amass was unlimited. By 1910, over 9 million immigrants had entered the United States. With this massive increase in available workers, business owners were free to exploit them for profit. 12-hour days, 6 days a week, and 20 cents an hour were common. Fully 20% of the labor force were children under 16. They were paid less than 2 cents an hour. The sweat of the many made fortunes for the few. George would take a different path to his wealth. He was part of the massive influx of immigrants looking for work. He arrived as a penniless 13-year-old. As a teen, he took a job as a kitchen worker. By 25, he was managing an exclusive high-end restaurant. A year later, George married Luis Carrer. He then began developing luxurious destination hotels. He was aware that the rich loved to travel in style. Many even had their own private rail coaches. These wealthy travelers would need places to stay that would be up to their lifestyle. His first hotel was the Bellevue Stratford in Philadelphia. He was also proprietor of the Waldorf Astoria in New York City. He charged the highest prices for the very best, and the wealthy gladly paid. By catering to millionaires, Bolt became one himself. He designed a full-sized castle as an anniversary gift for his wife. In 1904, tragedy struck. Luis died suddenly at the age of 31. George was brokenhearted. He stopped all work on the castle, and he never returned to the island. The castle then sat abandoned for 73 years. Restoration of the property began in 1977, thus preserving it for future generations. Bolt Castle is located on the St. Lawrence River. The Thousand Islands are a popular recreational area. Uncle Sam Tours is the best way to get to the castle. After arriving at the dock, we took the shuttle to the yacht house. The four main structures are the Alster Tower, the Powerhouse, the Yacht House, and Bolt Castle. The Yacht House stored the many watercraft George Bolt owned. It is now a museum housing many vintage boats. The Kerstrel is a steam-powered yacht built in 1892. It has been fully restored. The 
There is also a reception room and a caretaker's residence. This is the Ulster Tower. It included a two-lane bowling alley, billiard room, library, and theater. A common area and the patio have been restored. However, like much of the castle, extensive renovation is still underway. This is the powerhouse. Two steam engines were used to generate electricity for the island. The Roman archway is a major feature of the landscape and rock gardens. The five acres are perfect for a nice stroll and is a great way to admire the unique architecture of the castle. Before touring the finished areas of the castle, we will explore those areas still under restoration. The damage done during 73 years of harsh weather and vandals was extensive. The exposed lath and plaster still require years to repair. Skilled craftsmen have been working since 1977 to restore the castle. The largest project was the 25 by 18 foot stained glass skylight. The design used templates consistent with domes of the time. It required that 6,000 pieces of stained glass be cut by hand to match the template. Lead was then used to hold them in place. The project took one year to complete. Illuminated by a new skylight, the dome now provides light and beauty to the main staircase. Guests are free to roam the many finished areas.
have been renovated to appear as they might have had construction been completed. The furniture and colors are true to the period. The ballroom is one of the largest and most elaborate rooms. Just off the main staircase is the library. The kitchen could provide anything from a small lunch to a grand banquet, and as a small dining area for staff. The butler's pantry is located just outside the main dining hall. There are a few additional areas worth exploring. Just behind this curved wall is the swimming pool. Many secluded doors lead to a maze of tunnels and staircases for guests to enjoy. This staircase leads to a balcony with a wonderful view of the St. Lawrence River. spend a full day to explore all Bolt Castle has to offer.